What if no babies were born for 50 years? Imagine waking up tomorrow to breaking news. No babies were born anywhere on Earth today. A miracle? A glitch? A tragedy? At first, nobody panics. One day without births isn't impossible. But then it becomes two days, a week, a month. And researchers realize something terrifying. Human fertility has dropped to zero. No one can conceive. Not humans, not even animals. The world enters a new era, an age without birth. Year one, denial. Governments assure everyone that science will fix it. People are encouraged to stay calm. But hospitals close maternity wings. Strollers disappear from stores. Schools prepare to shrink. Humanity pretends everything is normal until the silence becomes too loud. Year five, the last children. The youngest humans on earth are now five years old. Every playground is a museum of empty swings. Child influencers become global celebrities because they are literally the last generation. They are watched, measured, studied, and feared. Some people worship them, others blame them. The world realizes something profound. We are now a species that only ages, never renews. Year 10, psychological collapse. A strange emotional crisis spreads. With no future generations, people ask, why work? Why build? Why sacrifice? Birthdays stop being celebrations and become reminders of approaching extinction. The concept of legacy disappears. Money loses meaning. Religion transforms. Some faiths claim this is a punishment. Others a test. And quietly, humanity's collective hope begins to fade. Year 20, the Grey Era. Global population has dropped drastically. Entire industries collapse. Toys, schools, family services, children's medicine, college campuses close. Nations fight over the remaining young people, offering scholarships, housing, but there is no future. Only memories. Year 30, new society. A world where no one is under 30 changes everything. Crime drops. There are no reckless teens or desperate parents. Creativity declines. Youth innovation disappears. Politics shifts. Older generations hold all power. The world becomes stable, but slow and emotionally empty. Pets once comforting also stop being born. The silence grows heavier. Humanity wonders, are we the last chapter of a long book? Year 40, an extinction math. Scientists release a brutal calculation. If no births occur, the human population will fall below 1 million within 150 years. After that, nothing. The fear of death becomes universal. Every cough, every accident, every illness feels like the world shrinking. Universities devote all their resources to solving the mystery, but the answer remains unknown. Biology itself seems to have shut down. Year 50, a world of endings. The youngest human on earth is now 50. No child has laughed in half a century. No baby has cried. No new voice has entered the world. Humanity gathers at a global broadcast, a final message to the universe. Leaders speak not as politicians, but as survivors. They apologize to future civilizations for not lasting long enough. They send recordings, DNA samples, libraries, art, music, billions of human memories, hoping someone, someday, somewhere will find them. And in a moment of both tragedy and beauty, humanity does something unexpected they choose to celebrate. A celebration of everything humans ever were, our love, our creativity, our chaos, our mistakes, our brilliance. For the first time in 50 years, the world unites not around fear, but around meaning. And as the camera pans across empty playgrounds, silent cities, and the last human faces, one question echoes. If we knew we were the ending of the human story, 
how would we choose to live our final chapter 